ओके सो टेकिंग इट फॉरवर्ड फ्रॉम द लास्ट क्लास जिसमें हमने एटॉमिक स्ट्रक्चर पर बात की थी वी टॉक्ट अबाउट हाउ एटम्स आर अरेंज इन पर्टिकुलर हमने इलेक्ट्रॉन्स की बात की थी और इलेक्ट्रॉन्स में वी सेड देयर इज अ स्मॉल पोर्शन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन जिसको हम बोलते हैं वैलेंस इलेक्ट्रॉन ओके एंड वैलेंस या आउटर मोस्ट दैट सिंपली टेल्स अस दैट दीस आर द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स दैट आर इन द लास्ट शेल दे हैव द हाईएस्ट एनर्जी दैट्स अ की पॉइंट दे आर हाईएस्ट एनर्जी एंड दे हैव द मैक्सिमम रेंज इसका मतलब है कि वो एटम में कहीं पर भी हो सकते हैं और सबसे ज्यादा दूर भी अगर आप देखें तो यही वाले इलेक्ट्रॉन्स होंगे सो so यूजुअली जैसे मैंने आपको बताया था कि एटम इज लाइक अ क्लाउड उसके अंदर कहीं पर भी वो इलेक्ट्रॉन मौजूद हो सकता है जस्ट लाइक like अगर मैं आपसे कहूं कि आप कहाँ हैं तो यू आर एट योर हाउस बट दैट डज नॉट मीन कि आप गलत कह रही हैं प्रॉबली यू आर प्रॉबली गोइंग टू बी इन वन स्टडी रूम या आप अपने किसी बेडरूम में होंगे या कहीं पर भी होंगे बट एज लॉन्ग एज यू कैन क्लेम कि हाँ आप इस घर में हैं एंड इट डर उस घर में आप कहाँ पर हैं you are in that house you are not lying you are not giving a wrong statement just like that when we say electrons are in the atom wo atom mein kahin pe bhi ho sakte hain ha jiske paas zyada energy hai wo atom mein zyada dur tak ghoom sakte hain zyada dur tak ja sakte hain so shell is simply the idea ki uske paas energy sabse zyada hai uska matlab ye nahi hai ki wo at nucleus se bahut dur hai uska sirf matlab ye hai ki wo dur ja sakta hai kyunki itni zyada energy hai ki wo bahut dur ja sakta hai anyways so valence electrons are the ones with highest energy and when they have the highest energy they are the first one to respond whenever any other atom comes close to it so inko hum bolte hain ki they are responsible for chemical properties because all the chemical properties they depend on how the outer electrons are aur aapka jo test tha usme bhi ke how are two isotopes having the same chemical properties they have the same chemical properties because they have the same number of valence electrons and valence electrons are the ones that will determine the chemical properties koi aur atom mein cheez chemical property determine nahi karti nucleus mein neutron hai proton hai they are there they will identify their own things nucleus mein जब आप न्यूट्रॉन को चेंज करते हो तो उससे आइसोटोप चेंज हो जाते हैं जब आप प्रोटॉन को चेंज करते हो उससे एलिमेंट चेंज हो जाता है बट वेलेंस इलेक्ट्रॉन इज द थिंग जिससे आपकी केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज डिफाइन होती हैं एंड देन वी आल्सो टॉक्ड अबाउट हाउ यू कैन मेक आयंस फ्रॉम इट एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट इज गुड सो द आइडिया हेयर इज द ऑक्टेट रूल अच्छा अब ऑक्टेट रूल जो है ना वो कोई बहुत स्ट्रांग रूल नहीं है इट्स जस्ट अ गाइडिंग प्रिंसिपल क्या अच्छा ठीक है ये लग सकता है इसका मतलब ये नहीं कि हमेशा ये लगता है लेकिन यूजुअली क्या होता है कि द एटम्स दैट वी वर्क विद ओ लेवल्स में आईजीसीएसई में वी आर स्टिकिंग टू जस्ट द फर्स्ट ट्वेंटी एलिमेंट्स सो उसमें ऑक्टेट रूल का मतलब ये है कि लास्ट शेल फर्स्ट के केस में टू सेकंड केस में एट थर्ड के केस में एट इन पे जाकर वो स्टेबल हो जाता है इस पे जाके वो प्रेफर्ड नंबर है उसका एट सो फर्स्ट शेल के लिए टू और बाकी शेल्स के लिए एट पे वो स्टेबल हो जाते हैं कि अगर एट इलेक्ट्रॉन्स हो गए वो खुश हैं बाकी उसके ऊपर वाले इलेक्ट्रॉन्स को दे विल पुश देम टू द नेक्स्ट लेवल सो दैट इज गोइंग टू बी प्रेवलेंट इन दिस केस अब इस ऑक्टेट रूल को ज्यादा अगर हमने समझना है तो वी शुड कॉल इट नोबल गैस कॉन्फिग्रेशन सो बजाय इसके कि हम उसको ऑक्टेट रूल बोलें हम इसको ये वर्ड बोलेंगे बिकॉज ऑल एटम्स ट्राई टू बी लाइक noble gases and noble gases ki configuration mein helium ke case mein it has two in the last shell which is in the first period in the periodic table matlab ek shell mein do maximum second shell mein we have neon second period mein neon hai usme eight hote hain last shell mein third period mein you have argon usme bhi eight hote hain last shell mein and that is why they all try to become like noble gases so noble gas configuration is the thing ke helium ke case mein they have two in the last shell and neon and argon ke case mein they have eight in the last shell and that's what they're trying to do ab isko karne ke liye what do atoms do there are three strategies three methods that they have to do this the first one is that they lose electrons that's what they do unke paas jitne electrons hote hain they just lose them and when they lose them unke paas apna shell complete ho jata hai so for example agar kisi ke last shell mein there is one electron it can simply lose that electron usko koi fark nahi padta hai ki wo electron kahan ja raha hai that electron is now free 
it doesn't belong to that atom. It is what we say delocalized. इसका मतलब ये होता है कि वो उस एटम तक लिमिटेड नहीं इट्स फ्री टू मूव अराउंड एंड द थिंग्स दैट डू दिस वी कॉल देम मेटल्स एंड दैट इज व्हाई दिस थिंग इज कॉल्ड मेटेलिक बॉन्डिंग सो दिस लीड्स टू मेटेलिक बॉन्डिंग ओके सो मेटल्स डू दिस एंड दिस लीड्स टू मेटेलिक बॉन्डिंग द सेकंड स्ट्रेटजी दैट दे हैव टू अचीव द सेम नोबल गैस कॉन्फ्यूजन अगर ये नहीं करते व्हाट एल्स डू दे डू दे ट्रांसफर इलेक्ट्रॉन्स so transfer ka matlab ye hai ki there will be something that donates the electron jisko hum kehte hain ki it gives the electron and something is going to accept the electron so usme bhi it has a lot to do with ki kiske valence shell mein kitne hain usko kitne chahiye kitne donate karne and things that do this usually metals do it with non metals but it's not always the case there are cases where metals can transfer it and uh, the electrons will be taken up by other metals as well unme bonding nahi hoti hai but this process still happens and we will talk about that when we study redox processes this process however where they bond together after doing this is called ionic bonding hota kya hai ki jisne donate kiya hota hai uske paas positive charge aa jata hai aur jisne accept kiya hota hai uske paas negative charge aa jata hai and the positive and the negative charge they are strongly attracted to each other and that is how they form this bond third process that is when transfer bhi nahi kar rahe lose bhi nahi kar rahe then the third strategy that they have is they share these electrons and again as i said the sharing or any other kind of bonding happens with the valence electrons so i'm getting ki ye share kar rahe hain and that makes them covalent ye valence electrons hain outer electrons hain aur unko share kar diye co ka matlab sharing so this leads to covalent bonding and that is usually the case in non metals but there are cases in which this is uh, going to be between metal and non metal one of such the such cases is alcl3 jiske upar question bhi exam mein aa chuka hai case mein covalent bonding hoti hai all that is good but baat ye hai ki hame pata kaise chalta hai kisi bhi cheez ka ki usme kaun si bonding hai koi rule nahi hai ki metal hoga to wo आइनिक ही बनाएगा नॉन मेटल के साथ कोई जरूरी नहीं है सम टाइम्स दे इवन मेक बॉन्ड्स जिनमें थोड़ा सा ट्रांसफर होता है और थोड़ी सी शेयरिंग होती है मतलब दे इवन डू दैट ये कोई हार्ड एंड फास्ट रूल्स नहीं है दीज आर जस्ट द एक्सट्रीम केसेस इनके बीच में देयर इज अ होल स्पेक्ट्रम तो जब वो ट्रांसफर भी करते हैं और थोड़ा सा शेयरिंग भी करते हैं फॉर एग्जांपल आयरन 3 ऑक्साइड दैट हैज स्लाइटली कोवेलेंट मेनली आयनिक बॉन्डिंग सो हमारे पास इस तरह के केसेस भी हैं सो हमें पता कैसे चलता है कि इसमें कौन सी बॉन्डिंग द की टू अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट इज नोइंग द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ थिंग्स उनके बिहेवियर से पता चलता है यू आर योर एक्शंस दैट्स इट हमारी आइडेंटिटी भी हमारे एक्शंस हैं हम किस तरह से बिहेव करते हैं दैट मेक्स अस गुड बैड ईविल और सेंट ऐसे इनके केस में भी वट एवर दे बिहेव लाइक दैट विल डिटर्मिन इनकी प्रॉपर्टीज क्या है so that is why we should identify the properties that these things do and from them we will figure out ki isne electron lose kiya tha transfer kiya tha share kiya tha or a combination of that so let's look at the metallic bonding things and let's see how do they behave and then why do they do that so pehle hum dekh lete hain metals karte kya so agar metals ko generally dekhe and i'm going to look at uh, transition metals for this because they are usually the idea of metals that we have like iron for example so what do you think what are some properties of metals everybody give, give me one any property of metal you can unmute or you can type it's up to you any property of metals uh they are good conductors they are good conductors okay let's start with that they are good conductors what are the properties Relative. of metals shiny good they are shiny although ye kafi tough hai o levels mein shayad hum bata nahi payenge ki shiny okay. kyu hote hain they are malleable But, malleable good 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 you're on a roll here so they're malleable okay uh so they conduct electricity that is correct jia said that they conduct electricity that's absolutely right so they're good conductors we just said that what else what else do they do high melting point excellent they have high melting point anything else strong forces of attraction between ye kahan se aapko pata chalta hai ye property hai koi ye to aapki bas theory hai ki iske andar strong forces hongi 
That okay. is not something that we can test right away, right? This is an explanation, not a property. Maybe we can also say that they have high density. We can also say they have high strength. They're very strong. They are good conductors of heat and electricity. Yes, you're right. And malleable kisad, usually we also use the word ductile. And that also means we can say they're soft. Soft ka matlab hai that they can be bent into different shapes, but they will not break. And that goes hand in hand with their strength. Now, this is what metals do. Yungi properties. Hain. And one more important thing, they're good conductors as solids. Conductor ka word, usually we use it for solids. For liquids and uh, gases, we use the word electrolyte. But if you write a conductor lik dete ho for a liquid, that's also acceptable. So this is what metals do. But why do they do that? All the metals do this work, which is how they behave. Kar rahe. What do they have which makes them do this? So it's called metallic bonding. Kehte and now this is what you can test. This is what you can see. This is what you can observe. And science, chemistry in particular, this is a very experimental thing. So uh, you go out in the world, you experience things, you check things, you see the properties. Uski base pe aap aate ho, sochte ho, ki kya hoga jiski wada se ye saari properties ho rahi. Iska malabha ke humari jo bhi theory hum baith ke sochenge, that theory should account for all of these. Agar wo nahi kar rahi hai, wo inko explain nahi kar pa rahi hai, iska malabha there's something wrong with the theory or our understanding of it. Thik hai, so humari theory should answer all of these. So let's see. The theory that we have for metallic bonding is, first of all, we say that metals, they have atoms in layers. That's the first thing that we do. So they have these atoms in layers. I'm just putting them there. Okay. So let's say this is one metal. They have atoms in layers. Whenever you draw it in the exam, draw three layers at least. And secondly, we say that these atoms, they have free electrons. And when we say free electrons, we are basically saying that they are actually free. Hain. Wo pe bhi ho sakte hain. They are free to move around. Unka random positioning hai. There's no pattern to it. And when you draw it in the exam, you should make sure that there's no pattern to it. They should be randomly scattered. No fixed arrangement. Hona okay. All right. And whenever you draw the diagram, remember, Always put a key. So these are free electrons. So this thing. And when any atom loses electron, it becomes cation because it has a positive charge. So when you lose electron, lose karne hai, wo cation ban jayega, or wo electron free. Ho okay. So this is our idea that metals may ye hota hoga. Theke? How does this account for all of this? So let's see. Hai kya pe. We have free electrons, which are all negative. We have cations, which are in layers, and they're all positive. So cations are in layers. Now again, any force of attraction, any bonding that you see, should be between a positive and a negative thing. Koi bhi chemical bonding, it should be between a positive and a negative thing. Kyunke wohi to attraction hoti hai nature mein. Uske lava attractions kya hain? Gravity hai, wo yaan pe nahi lagri. Magnetic force hai, wo yaan pe nahi lagri. So all attractions hain kya? Ek nuclear level pe hoti, lekin uski hum baat nahi kar So this is the only force of attraction that they have. Positive and negative ko attract karta So now we can define ke metallic bonding kya hai. So it is the strong force of attraction. And if you want to specify ke what kind of force of attraction it is, you can say strong electrostatic force of attraction. But I'm putting it in brackets because the examiner doesn't want you to like you can skip this word if you want. There is a strong force of attraction. Okay, good. Any bonding is that. Naam mein hai. Bonding ka matlab kya? Force of attraction. Kiske beech mein? Between, as I told you, it should be a one positive thing and a one a negative thing. Between cations in layers, again, layers ka batana zaruri nahi hai stage. Ka. So that's the positive part. Ab negative part ke baad mein likhte hai. And delocalized. If you don't use this word, you can say C off. If you don't use this word, then cloud off. Now, in IGCSE, marks scheme mein cloud aya hua hai. O levels mein kabhi bhi nahi aya. But if you write it, it won't be wrong. Or if cloud off bhi nahi likhna hai, you can simply say 
three electrons. So any good definition of bonding should have three things. Number one, it should specify that this force of attraction. Hai. Second, it should tell me about a positive thing. Wo ye hai. It should tell me about a negative thing. Wo bhi ye hai. Theek hai. So we have all of these things. Let me underline, underline a few important words. First of all, layers. Second, force of attraction. Third, delocalized your free your sea of electrons. The three main things. Eh? And all the properties of metals that we have, physical properties, we should be able to explain them using these three things. Force of attraction, which is really strong. Catons in layers and delocalized electrons. All the properties that metals have, we will explain in this So let's see. They are good conductors. Conductor means something that can carry energy, transfer it to some place. That's what it is. So what is the thing that is in structure that you can see that it can move? What is it? The electrons. Electrons, yes. Atoms to hai nahi. Either the atoms have lost the electrons, so cations are again. Or wo cations, they are strongly in place. Wo layer ke andar maujood hai. Wo free nahi hai, move nahi kar sakte hai. Force of attraction unko jakra hoa hai. But these things, they are free, yes. So they will carry the energy when we get them. So the good conduction part of heat and electricity comes from the free electrons. So our theory works. We are able to explain why are metals good conductor? Because they have things that can carry the energy that we give them. You have electricity. That means charged particle ko aapne energy deni hai. People who study physics know that voltage is energy given to a charge. Wo voltage to usne transfer karni hai. Aur kitne charges jayenge, wo hi to current hai. So that all depends on that there is a charge wali cheez ho, jo free. Ho, to hai. Abundance of these electrons and they're all free to move around. They valence electrons. Hai. And that is why things that have, for example, if you have sodium, it has one in the large shell. Magnesium, two in the large shell. Aluminum, three in the large shell. So which of these do you think will be the best material to make wires? In three of Obviously, the one with the most electrons. Jitne zyada electrons wo free karega, utni zyada cheeze hongi unko carry karne ke liye energy ko. So, aluminum, jis ke paas teen electrons in last shell mein, wo teenon ko free kar dega. Magnesium ke paas doh hai, wo doh free kar dega. So, obviously, aluminum will conduct it better because it has more free electrons. Magnesium utna better nahi kar paega. Electrons hi kam hai. But the underlying idea is that there are free electrons which will carry the charge, energy for electricity, and energy for heat. Conduct current. Now, it's the same reason why they're shiny, but we will not be able to answer it by just knowing the O-level physics, your O-level chemistry, because we have to learn relativity or relativistic effects ko will have to take into account. So we'll wait till the second or third year of university to figure out ke shiny Q. It's a really tough question to answer. So we'll just say ke achha, thik hai, electrons kai kuch hai. Hame nahi usme jana bhi. Okay. Dobara dekhte hai. What were the three main properties? Free electrons. Okay. Hame unka kaam nazar aagya. Cations in layers. And there's strong force of attraction. Let's see. So free electrons ki kya karna hai, wo se kya behave karta hai samne. Why are they malleable? Why can I make sheets out of them? How is it ke mein usko hammer karta hai, wo tootta nahi hai, wo phailna shuru kar dada. Why is it? Layers. They have layers, exactly. That is the reason. Wo layers bend kar sakti hai. Wo layers malleable, ductile, soft hai. That's what they make it. So these are layers of cat times. In fact, wherever you will see layers, you will see the thing is soft. Okay? Desserts may layers hoti hain. It is soft. Mattresses may layers hoti hain. It is soft. Uh, graphite may layers hoti hain. It is really, really soft. Used as lubricant. 
आपकी पेंसिल में लेयर्स होती हैं व्हेन यू रब इट ऑन अ पीस ऑफ पेपर पचास साठ हजार लेयर्स पेपर पे गिर जाती हैं एक दो साल का बच्चा भी उसको यूज कर सकता है सॉफ्ट है बहुत ज्यादा सो दीज लेयर्स मेक इट सॉफ्ट एंड दे आर एबल टू बेंड दे आर एबल टू मेक इट फ्लेक्सीबल थोड़ा सा ठीक है ऑल ऑफ दैट इज गुड हमने तीन बातों की बात की थी देर वॉज फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन उसका अभी तक हमें ना काम नजर नहीं आया We can see that they are layers. We have seen that they have delocalized electrons. So delocalized electrons का नजर आ गया. They carry energy, जिससे वो good conductors बनते हैं. There are layers, जिससे वो malleable, ductile and soft बनते हैं. Now let's talk about the force of attraction. Force को strength को कैसे पता चलता है? किसी भी इंसान की strength का कब पता चलता है? जब आप उसको challenges में से गुजारते हो. आप लोग अभी ज़िंदगी का एक बहुत बड़ा challenge face कर रहे हैं. और आपकी strength का यहाँ पे नजर आएगी. के लेवल्स के एग्जाम को सीना बसीना जाके देखना है कि हाँ जो मर्जी क्वेश्चन हमें आता है हम कर लेंगे इसको हैंडल ये कॉन्फिडेंस ये आपकी स्ट्रेंथ है ये कैसे बिल्ड होगी जब आपके अंदर कुत होगी अपने आप पे यकीन की खुद एतमादी की वो सारा कुछ मेटल्स में भी कुछ ऐसा ही होता है उनमें भी बहुत स्ट्रॉन्ग फोर्सेज होती हैं तो उनको आप आग में भी डाल दो वो मेल्ट नहीं करते बहुत हाई टेम्परेचर चाहिए बहुत बड़े बड़े चैलेंजेस से गुजर जाते हैं वो दे वेरी डेंस बहुत हैवी होते हैं वो बहुत स्ट्रॉन्ग होते हैं वो उनको तोड़ना आसान नहीं है क्योंकि उनमें वो कुत है वो फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन है विच फाइट ऑल ऑफ दैट सो टू ब्रेक इट यू नीड टू सप्लाई लॉट ऑफ एनर्जी और वो एनर्जी ज्यादा होती है इसलिए उनका मेल्टिंग पॉइंट ज्यादा होता है सो दे हैव स्ट्रॉन्ग फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन एंड दैट इज वॉट गिवस दैम हाई मेल्टिंग पॉइंट हाई डेंसिटी एंड अ वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग मटीरियल दैट इज वॉट कम्स आउट ऑफ इट So, हमारे सामने मेटल्स की जितनी भी बिहेवियर थे हमने उनको अपनी थ्योरी से एक्सप्लेन कर दिया और अगर वो एक्सप्लेन कर पा रहे हैं हम इसका मतलब है हमारी थ्योरी ठीक है इट वर्क्स रिमेम्बर साइंस में सबसे बड़ी इज्जत आप किसी भी आइडिया को जब दे सकते हो वो है कि आप उसे थ्योरी का नाम दे दो क्योंकि थेरी समथिंग दैट हैज स्टूड द टेस्ट ऑफ टाइम वो आंसर देती है वो एक्सप्लेन करती है वो चीजों के बारे में बताती है एग्जाम में भी जब आपको वो बोलेगा ना डिस्क्राइब तो तब वो आपसे थेरी का नहीं पूछ रहा होता वो बस आपसे ये प्रॉपर्टीज पूछेगा Describe the properties of metals. तो ये ग्लू में जो नजर आ रहा है वो है बट जब वो आपसे अगली बात करेगा कि डिस्क्राइब एंड एक्सप्लेन द वर्ड एक्सप्लेन और इलेबरेट और वर्ड डू यू थिंक और सजेस्ट ये सारे वो वर्ड्स हैं वी कॉल दम कमांड वर्ड्स ये एग्जाम में जब वो यूज करेगा इसका मतलब है कि मुझे रीजन बताओ गो बैक टू योर थेरीज एंड टेल मी वाई आर थिंग्स द वे दे आर So why are metals good conductors? Because they're free electrons. Why are metals shiny? They're free electrons. Why are they soft, ductile, or malleable? They have layers. Those layers can bend. That makes them soft. Why are they ha- having high melting point, high density? Why are they so strong? Because they have strong force of attraction to fight it. जो भी उनके ऊपर कोई आप force लगाते हो, कोई भी उनको energy देते हो, and you need to break that force if you want to do that. बहुत ज़्यादा energy supply करनी पड़ेगी. and that is metallic bonding 